Now on our Galaxy Fold, we also have the ability of using the S Pen. So this is a really cool thing. So inside of the box, hopefully you were able to get an S Pen. If you weren't, then I'll go and show you exactly anyways. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick breakdown on how to use the S Pen if you're new to it on your Galaxy Fold. Now, if you bought it with your Fold, it should already be set up. It's very, very basic. You can't seem to fold. You can't be in an unfolded state and use the S Pen, which is very weird. I'm not really too sure why. So you have to be in the un you have to be in the unfolded state. So you need to be here. Now the S Pen is very basic to use, basically it's a stylus, so you can go ahead and utilize it just by you know, scrolling through, swiping around, you can use it whichever way you want to, it's basically like your finger. But basically with the S Pen we have a little bit more customizability. So on the right portion of the display you should, be, you should be able to see that little pencil icon right there. So you can click on that pencil icon and we can actually customize our S Pen. So these are our quick toggles with our S Pen. So now what we can do is we can swipe around, we can go and create a note. So if we click create a note, we can go and click here and we can just write whatever we want to. So if we want to write whatever we want to, I guess after this little thing, we have to go and wait around a little bit. It's kind of annoying. Okay, got it. So now we can go and write down like, hi, how are you? Whatever we want to go and write down, we can go and write down exactly here, which is really cool. And these are our quick notes. We can swipe out of here and that's it. So that's one option. You can always still click here and customize these by clicking the little settings icon. You can customize a lot of different options here. So you can either enable or disable your S Pen. I would probably recommend keeping it enabled. You have error actions here. So if you want, you can go ahead and pretty much customize your error actions, which is really cool. Hopping back out by clicking the back button. I totally messed that up. You can click back here, click back into settings. You have, you know, S Pen to text, you have Air View, you have menu style on that side. You have a lot of different options here, which I would recommend also setting that up. But another thing you may not know about your S Pen is actually there's a button on the side. So there's a button on the side of your S Pen, and if you click it, you can customize it to do certain things. So if you hold it down, you can actually get into your quick toggles here. I think if you double tap it, you can get it to do certain things too. But it's a really cool option that you can go ahead and hold this button down and basically get into a few more options here, which is really cool. So. If you want, I would recommend going through there and kind of customizing these as well. You can always click add, as I mentioned before, and add certain things to your S Pen as well. So you can customize all sorts of these different toggles, which is so awesome that we have this type of capability on our device. So the S Pen works as like any other you know, stylus, but it has a little bit more capability. So that is a quick little breakdown on exactly how to use your Samsung Galaxy Fold, how to put cases on it, how to use the S Pen, how to fold and unfold it. There's tons of cool stuff with this phone and you're really going to enjoy using it. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.